Seconds out. Round one. So Lely Badajig looking to build on that impressive first performance in his professional career. On the undercard of Michael Conlon against Jordan Gill in Belfast here last month, winning at about the halfway stage of the opening round and looking as though Darren, he used up as much energy celebrating as he did in the contest itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could see what it meant to him and I can understand why he only get one debut and he enjoyed it, but he looked so good, Mike. He was smooth, he was relaxed, he was composed. You know, old wise head on young shoulders and you can see now that ability. Shoelaces undone, Mike. But yeah, very good fighter, good amateur pedigree. It does everything right. Nice jab. Doesn't waste anything. And in good hands there, being tutored by Alan Smith. We saw there in the corner from the iBox Academy in Bromley in South London. Lady Badgerton himself from East London. Boxed a lot of his amateur career for Newham ABC. And here against the man in Spatar, who's making his fourth appearance in a UK ring, but has yet to win. We mentioned last time that the left hook that he landed in the debut was a lovely shot, and we mentioned at the time it was similar to a, a kind of a shot that Golovkin would throw. And we've already seen a right hook very similar again. He sort of chops down with the shot high on the head, and they do scramble the senses. But again, you can see doing the right thing. He's fainting with his hands, his feet, looking to draw out the lead. Stalking his man coming forward. If you make a mistake, he will make you pay. Satar with those high held gloves, but there's already a distinctive reddening by the right eye of the Estonian. Yeah, he's in his shell. Satar moving and understand why it's uh, been a good. Positive start from Butter G. Really does get into a groove, a nice relaxed rhythm straight away. Just loading up a little bit at times. That's better with the right hand, just coming over the, the left hand of Sparta. It's so important now, you, you just get behind your jab. It's your second fight, you're going to get a little carried away at times, but so important early on for these young lads and ladies early in their careers just to establish rhythms behind their jab good variation of the shot everything else will follow mike <laughs> it's got a watchable rangy style but a jig down yeah he has that was nice he brought the feet in behind the double jab with the right hand but it was a good exit off the ropes from sparta a lot better, he had his hands high. So he just needs to bring that right foot across when he throws the right hand. Butter G. Corners, ten seconds. Seconds out, round two. Into the second round, Butajik just beginning to find his range with the right hand towards the end of the opening three minutes, and it was the right hand that did the damage on his debut against his Portuguese opponent, Mario Oliveira. That one finishing in a minute and 25 seconds. He's doing the right thing at the start of the second round, Butajik poking the jab out. 
good variation with the shot, really snapping it out, but a bit more intent from Sparta as well. Trying to hold his feet a little bit. I'd see a bit more work to the body from Butterji, a lot of head hunting at the minute. It's his throw to one, two, then drop the left to the body. Does have a nice high guard, guard Sparta, so that's where you can get the shot down behind the elbows. All four wins for the Estonian have come in his home country. Hasn't yet managed to have his hand raised on the road. But a jig trying variation, leading off with the left uppercut, just trying to splice open those tightly held gloves of Spata. This is good. We see a couple of body shots there. There was an uppercut followed by a right hook. I think just a bit more variation. A bit more speed to his work. There's that right hook again coming around the left hand of Sparta. But just up in the tempo slightly. The jab's been better in this round. You can tell there's a wariness about the work of Spatter. So obviously ready for what's coming back at him. And more intent on damage limitation than really landing anything solid of his own. Yeah, this is better. Good work. Again, the vari variation I was calling for, working the body, then going back upstairs, keeping Spatter thinking. And they're hurtful shots as well. So I'd like to see him, whether it be to the left or the right, just throw the body shot first and then go back upstairs. Like I say, the hands are high of Sparta. So he'll be able to protect from those headshots. So drop to the body first and go back upstairs. That's a nice jab to the body. Yeah, good work from Butterji. A bit more variation in that round. We're seeing some more shots to the body. Start to use the uppercut a little bit, trying to find openings that way. A nice slip inside. That's a beautiful, well executed left uppercut. The way he slips inside the jab. Good work from the young man. Well, two rounds gone, Darren, and it wouldn't be to his detriment if this went all the way at this stage of his professional career because you can you can sense that the learning process... Second point. Oh, absolutely, Round Mike. Rounds are, are valuable, especially for this young man. No senior experience, so he's learning all that here, getting in there with tough, solid men. So rounds under the lights in front of a crowd, valuable to try things out. Don't get lazy, don't get complacent, but go about your work, show off all the hard work that you've done in the gym, everything you've been learning. And I don't find, I don't think Butterji will mind Sparta coming forward. That will allow him, I think, to try and walk Sparta onto the shots. Lovely jab. You get the sense that that jab in time could be a really potent weapon for Butterji. Yeah, definitely, the, the height, the reach that he has. He'll be able to generate a lot of power with that shot and also set up the right hand. Sparta himself, though, ready to mix it on that occasion. And just once or twice, he's reading the right hand of Bocic. So Bocic has got to, in some way, disguise that on the way in. I think, look, he's looking to trade at times, Sparta. I think that's where a faint 
from Butterjee, wouldn't go amiss. Try and draw out the lead from Sparta, then fire with the right hand. You've got to be a little bit cute with the shot. You see again there, just slipping on the outside, Sparta. You knew the shot was coming. I think the variation as well. We see it with the left the uppercut slipping inside the jab, but you can do it with the right uppercut slipping on the outside of the jab. So just mix things up a little bit. An opportunity there to throw the uppercut as well. You see the leg, the head, sorry, over that front foot of Sparta. That was nice. He walked Sparta onto the right hand. Good shot. Just, just, just. That one Sparta. That was a good right hand, Mike. Yeah, stood his ground well and they're quite animated in his corner. They still believe that he could be doing more. Yeah, I do think a change in tempo, just going through the gears, two, three phases, two shots, three shots, go again. Really start to put some pressure on Sparta. Don't worry about the single shots, just relax, let the shots flow. They'll do just as much damage as those single right hand, nice left to the body there. Not quite the desired accuracy with the right hand. Pretty much the last meaningful punch of that third round. One to go. Yep, I think learning fight is what this is. That he's comfortable winning the rounds easy enough, but he is being made to work. Has struggled at times. We're finding the target with the right hand, but we're only serving well in the future, this. But when he does go through the gears, really, really does look a special fighter. That jab that you pointed out, Mike, very, very effective, hurtful weapon for Basaji. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, fourth, final round. Into the final round then, round four. And it was in the sixth and final round that Sparta was stopped last time out for the first and only time in his career. And that was by Joel Bartell at your call in London last month. Can Baricic now find the accuracy and the power to do likewise here in what is for him the final round also? Doesn't need to, to do anything silly here, but he wants to try and force a stoppage. Say it again, it would be just that change in tempo. He doesn't have to load up with everything, just go through the gears, just up that tempo slightly. better with the feint there but Sparta didn't take the bait didn't look to lead off there just got to bring those feet in a little bit more Basaji as well just falling short with the jab once that jab hits the target you know you're there to, to land the right hand that's why that shot is so important good head movement Good bit of matchmaking this, Darren, for his second professional contest. Yeah, absolutely. Just the kind of workout he would have wanted. Yeah, Sparta, he's been annoying, if you like. He's moved, he's picked his moments a little bit, unorthodox at times, leading with the right hand, sort of a couple of subtle switches at times. And he's just had that knack of being out to avoid that right hand. And I think that's a little bit down to Butters. He's just loading up, you can understand. He had that dramatic... Exciting, explosive first round victory last time out. He'd want to follow that up, so you can get a little bit gung ho loading up with the shots. But this is nice, he's just taking the power away from the shots a little bit. He's just concentrating on speed and looks very relaxed. It's 
Messi carrying his hands low. That's a, that's also a bit of bait there, trying to get Sparta to lead. He's not taking it, Sparta, completely in survival mode now, just moving. But yeah, we'll learn an awful lot from this, Butterji. The lessons will be just to up the tempo, variation, try different things. I think most importantly, just don't load up, don't telegraph the shots. Success in these latter stages with the right hand that brought about the stoppage in his opening contest, but this one going all the way, the full four rounds in the second professional outing for Emmanuel Lely Butterjig at the age of just 18. And without going overboard, a performance that he will have learned so much from under the guidance of Alan Smith and Eddie Lamb over in the corner as well. He's, just, he's enjoying this one as well, though, Mike. Big smile, he's dancing around the ring. And why not? Like, I think he understands. It's another one he's going to win, another W next to his name, 2-0. Uh, he'll understand there's things that he needs to do, but you can understand it, Mike. Look, he's a young man who, like I say, is coming off the back of a very, very impressive debut, and he's tried to follow that up, and he has telegraphed, and he has loaded up with the shots a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind that. It shows intent. It shows desire to look good, to impress. So lots to work on, but we see here in these highlights when he started varying up the shots a little bit because he did headhunt early in the fight, working the right to the body there, then he can go back upstairs, not choosing to there, that the uppercut was there for him if he wanted to throw it after, but a confident young man, he's enjoying his trade and he can enjoy that victory this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here at Ulster Hall in Belfast, we go to referee Eamon McGill's scorecard. It reads 40 to 36 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Lily. The Maltese Monster, Buddy Jag. So win number two for the 18-year-old from East London, now training in South London on the border of South London and Kent in Bromley under the watchful eyes of Alan Smith and Eddie Lamb. And I think there was a bit of joking going on in the corner about how he celebrated first time around, but... Win number two for Lely Butterjig, and here he is now with Jamie Ward up in the ring. Lely, congratulations. Two fights, two wins. We know you loved the professional debut eight weeks ago. We saw how much it meant to you. How did the emotions compare tonight after that fight and performance? Yeah, I was still, still the same, still buzzing like the last fight, but this time I'm glad that I got to come in and showcase a bit of my boxing. I bring a lot more than that, but it's just the beginning. I've got a lot more to learn, a lot more experience again, but... This is the beginning of something good. And it certainly was a good learning fight. Arsene Spatar was game, could take a shot as well. I know you were after a big devastating knockout, like you secured eight weeks ago, but overall, to secure your first four professional rounds, what positives can you take from that? Yeah, um, last time was only a minute, so there wasn't much for me to go back and watch. But this fight, I was just sticking to the jab, working behind the jab, because the jab wasn't really missing him. So, yeah, the knockouts will come. A lot more knockouts to come, but I'm glad that I've got the four rounds. I can go back with me, I'll, Eddie, we can go and watch something, see what we can improve on and back better in my next fight. And headed into this year, to your first full year as a professional, of course, to get out so early in 2024, how, what is the, the tick boxes for Lely Butterjeg this year? Just to stay active, keep get, getting experience, keep getting the rounds in, keep listening to our and Eddie in the gym, and just keep working and improving as a fighter. So I'm only young, but there's lots more for me to bring. Lely, congratulations, 2-0. Well done.